The, the thing I like about the Reba Barbara Jean relationship is that when Reba really is angry and hurt and really wants to hurt Barbara Jean, she says it in a way, and I'm really glad the writers write it this way too, that Barbara Jean really doesn't pick up on the harshness mm -hmm. of it. And by the time Reba has heard what she says and Barbara Jean didn't understand it or didn't accept it that way, Reba realizes she shouldn't have said it. Right. And lightens up a little bit. And it doesn't get so harsh that, you know, Reba looks like a butt. But you you never do. I mean, you, if anything, you're allowed animosity towards this woman. And I think that the icing on the cake is that the evolution is, is where it's going to go. And I've always thought, and I think we've talked about this, is the day the, se the, day the show is over, whether it's, you know, six seasons, seven seasons, 10, 11. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. That the day it ends is when we really, really, truly hug each other as real, true friends. And it's, and you, you know, and I, and you say thanks for loving my kids, and it's, mm -hmm. and I go thanks for letting me love them. I always think that that's the ending. It's that thing of going. That's that's it. When we are finally at that our ultimate pure friendship is when it's over. Yeah. And I think the journey there, no one, you know, the journey is going to take a long time. Yeah. She's. It's still. There's so much ground to cover and for every step forward our relationship takes like it seems like you know every season there's a couple episodes that that jump our relationship forward where before it's what what's one of the lines is like well gosh at first i i couldn't stand you and now now you know and then i used to just hate you and now I just ignore you. It's like it's like we have a long way <laughs> to go. Almost getting to the I like you. Nope, not we, gonna say we, that. And to get to the and then you know we get to the like and it's also, you know you hate that you like me. You hate that I'm there. And, and Brock knows I'm getting to like her. Yeah. And, and I I'll, love I'll her. I adore it. her. I want to be her. What's that line? I want to be you so bad. Yeah, everybody I love does. That. I love that. It was funny. But it's a it's an interesting dynamic and it's it will change and grow and. For every step forward, there's a couple steps back, and there's going to be, you know, we there are two women, you know, that are have had the same man and gone through the same things, and I learned from her. It's funny when Barbara Jean comes and asks Reba for advice. I know. You know, how could I, how do I tell Brock how to do this? You're asking me. I'm the ex-wife. You stole my husband away from me. Don't you remember that? And that she's so oblivious that that's inappropriate, slightly inappropriate. Hey, Reba, how did Brock act when he and I were sneaking around behind your back? <laughs> what? Can you imagine? And I think there's nothing wrong with yeah. that. That there's nothing. Why wouldn't she help me? She's so wonderful. She's so beautiful and smart and wonderful. Of course she's going to help me. She's my only friend. And I, I do want to explore the idea of if, you know, if Barbara Jean maybe does reconnect with some of her old friends mm -hmm. and then you kind of realize that you miss her because you would. You'd miss her. Yeah, because well, who else do I get to <laughs> hang out with? My kids and Barbara Jean. It is funny. And I do, do you have a lot of people that come up and that have stepmothers and, and you know, oh, tell them about Ireland. When we were in Ireland? Yeah. We're in Ireland and we were at a pub just to watch other people, what they do there. We wouldn't be there for any other reason. And um, we were there, and the, there was a touring group of, of, of university students who yeah. came in, yeah. and they were in Dublin, and they were studying, and they saw us there, and they saw you there. And this girl comes up to her and just says, oh, Miss oh, McIntyre, I, I love you so much, and I love your TV show. We, our dorm watches it every Friday, and oh, we, I am rooting for you. I am rooting for you to win, because I just, I don't know about that other girl. And Reba just sits here and goes, oh, you mean that girl? <laughs> and I was sitting just a couple seats there, and I stand up, and I'm like, what? What? And she just started. She was mortified. She was Bless mortified, but she said, well, no, it's, I don't not like you. I just, oh, you make me so mad. And then she goes, well, it's good to see that you guys get along in real life. And then and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> But it was it was very funny because she had no idea I'd I was sitting there. I'd forgotten about that. And I just said, I'm sorry, you mean this girl? Huh, what? Yeah. Because um, I'm in Ireland. It could get ugly. Um, but that was very cute. That they the people are amazed of that. Because you like me. No, brother. You like me. <laughs> she does. I'm most proud of that it all worked. I'm, I'm proud of the personalities gelling and it being fun and craving more. Mm -hmm. 
I was going to say something similar that I was so proud that that chemistry and that magic that we seem to capture that first table read main was maintained throughout that entire first season and the first season is hard because you don't you're you're getting to know people and you're figuring out how they work and what they need from you and what's expected of you and to to get through all of that and and begin to understand each other and then still come out at the end of the tunnel with that chemistry and that magic I thought was I was really proud of mm -hmm. and I was proud too because you you're always hope that you the people that you work with you hope that you like them and you can work with them yeah. when they become your friends is when it's the icing on the cake and I always Love say that, that my cake has so much icing on it just from that show I mean we just we like each other and I think that that shines through in the final product yep, yep. and we make sure to like I mean we we make sure that we, keep we that we understand that that's important so we got to take care of that thanks for this informal chat I enjoyed it so much thank you for this informal chat it's so weird that I just walked by here looking like this. Mm -hmm. I had no idea we were going to do a DVD. Informal chat. Informally. So if you guys are about uh, ready to go to bed, you know, if you've been watching this tape all night long, all afternoon, thank you for spending your evening with us. We thank appreciate you. it. Turn off all the lights downstairs. Lock the doors. Lock the doors. Kiss the kids goodnight. Say your prayers. Say your prayers. Night-night. Come back and see us next time you see us. <laughs>